Hi guys and welcome back. This week we're going to be looking at Helinox and today's video we're going to be looking at the Helinox chair range. <laughs> So before we get into the products, let's have a little chat about Helinox itself. The company was started in 2009 with the idea of making comfortable, unique and packable furniture that you can take anywhere with you. Helinox believed that comfort shouldn't be restricted to the home and you should be able to take it outdoors with you, which is why they made a range of products that cover all aspects of outdoor adventure life, from beds, tables and chairs. So who is Helinox for? Helinox is for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're a caravan camper, a car camper, a backpack camper, or someone looking for a cycling tour chair, Helinox have the right products for you. Although you might assume that from their light, uh, lightweight and small pack size, they're designed very much for backpacking and cycle touring, this really isn't the case. With tents getting bigger and more luxurious, space in car is limited. So having a small compact chair and table is a great way to save space in your car. Of course, they do make an ultra light version of each of their products, which is perfect for those backpackers and cycle tourers. However, the chair one and sunset chair are perfect for caravan or car camping. They're a really exciting company and they're doing some really cool stuff with furniture. And let's have a little look at the chairs. The first product we're going to be looking at is the chair one. The chair one is a perfect solution for anyone looking for a compact chair for caravan camping, car camping, and even backpack camping. It's also perfect for around the campfire on a cozy evening. Um, this packs down nice and small. It fits in a stuff sack that is 35 centimeters long. It's a good size for stuffing in your bottle pocket on the side of your pack or across the top of your pack under the lid. Weighing just under uh, one kilo, it's also nice and light. So it's not gonna be a massive uh, issue if you wanna carry this in your backpack or if you've got to walk a little way to where you're gonna be camping. Because it's pack size, it fits nicely inside a car and you can get four of these nicely put under the seats in the front or maybe just squeeze down the side of your tent in the boot. It's a great way to save some weight. Uh, I've been lucky enough to own one of these for a few years and they're a fantastic solution for, for most things. I use this for loads of different options. Uh, use it on the beach, in the woods, uh, when I go over to friends' houses for um, a camp or a bonfire. Um, I've even used this for wildlife photography when I'm sat sitting down for a long period of time behind a blind. It's a great thing just to be able to pull out my camera bag, pop up and have something nice and comfy. And that's really what it is with the chair one, it's all about comfort. Although it's still nice and light, they've put comfort at the sort of pinnacle of uh, what you're getting here. And because of the way it's constructed and the mesh sides to allow some air flow through, it's a really nice experience to sit in this chair. The chair one does also come in chair one XL, which is a bigger uh, pack size and it is also a bit heavier. However, it does give you a bit more room. It's a bit nicer to sort of slouch in. It's not quite as tight on the sides and great for anyone that's looking for a slightly more spacious seat. Next we have the Sunset Chair, a chair definitely aimed at caravan campers, uh, car campers and anyone looking for a compact solution for a, a day trip. It's certainly not uh, small enough or light enough to be carried in a rucksack on a multi-day walk or uh, for sort of an overnight camp. Um, but what you do get for this slightly bigger pack size is a lot more support. The back on this chair comes up a lot higher, which you'll see in the video just in a second. Uh, which gives you a lot more support and a lot more comfort as well. This is very much designed as like a really comfortable solution to uh, sort of longevity in terms of camping. So like I said, car camping or caravan camping, where you've got a bit more room to take things with you and you're unlikely to have to carry it. Additionally to the high back, this chair also offers two side pockets on either side. That helps keep your essentials off the ground. Things like your phone, a uh, portable charger, anything like that can be kept in those side pockets and easily accessible. Uh, what this chair is, is a little bit higher than the chair one, again with that higher back system, so it's a little bit more comfortable and certainly aimed at your uh, car or caravan camper. For someone who doesn't mind a bit of extra weight or pack size, but still looking for a more compact solution to those traditional camping chairs. The Chair Zero, the ultimate chair for a lightweight backpacker that wants a little bit of comfort out on the trail. The Chair Zero weighs just 510 grams and fits conveniently in this little stuff sack that's about, 100, uh, about 35 centimetres long. It's a great option for anyone looking for a super light, compact chair solution for backpacking or even motorcycle touring or normal cycle touring. This chair is incredible. It's so light, it packs down so small and it's just perfect for anyone looking for something. A bit of comfort when they're out on the trail. You know, you can go ultra light, but sometimes it's nice to have a little something with you. It keeps you off the ground. It's a bit warmer than sitting on the floor. And obviously if it's been a wet evening, this is a much nicer solution to sit in. Because it's still low to the ground, you can sit, sit in it in uh, like low down uh, tents as well, which is awesome. And because that's small pack size, it's so easy just to stick down the side of your rucksack. You hardly know it's there. Just a really nice option. 
Uh, this very much looks and feels like the chair one. There's a few things that they've done differently here. The first thing is they've reduced the material and they've changed the material a little bit, which means it's a little bit lighter. And they've also removed those uh, mesh panels on the side. The chair zero is very much orientated towards lightweight and performance. So it's a little bit less comfortable, I would suggest, but not much if you're looking for something that's lightweight. It's certainly worth the, um, the sacrifice for that weight. I mean, this is almost half the weight of the chair one, which is really, really cool. But really good for anyone looking for a lightweight chair solution for backpacking or hiking. Uh, I'm not sure this is going to be right for the people that are using it for um, car camping or caravan camping. I think if you've got the space um, and the weight's not as big an issue, definitely go for the chair one. It's a little bit more comfortable, or even the sunset chair. Um, they're a little bit more tuned towards that kind of usage. Um, but certainly for anyone using it as a backpacking chair or a really light solution, again, like we're talking about with photography, it's a great thing to have in your bag and be able to put out nice and quickly. And compared to the rest of your gear, it's pretty light. Next we have the Chair Zero high back. Uh, this has exactly the same DNA as the Chair Zero. It's designed to be lightweight, comfortable, and perfect for backpackers or cycle tourers. Uh, this chair is a little bit heavier than the uh, Chair Zero just because of the high back system that it features. Uh, and comes in at around 610 grams, um, which is, again, an amazing weight. It's really still quite light. Um, and what this does, is just gives you a little bit of extra support and comfort. The high back works very similarly to the sunset chair. It raises up the back slightly further and just gives you a little bit more relaxation space. You can lean back into the chair a bit more. And it's also, because it's higher up your back, you can't feel the chair against your sort of your back or your spine, which is really nice. Like I said, it's very, very similar to the chair zero. It very much follows on from the DNA of that chair, but it's designed to give you a bit more comfort if you're willing to accept the little bit of extra weight. And last but certainly not least, my personal favorite, the ground chair. The ground chair is still part of the ultralight range from uh, Helen Locks, but it's a little bit different. And that's because it doesn't sit off the legs like a lot of the other range, but actually sits, as, it, as you expect from the name, down on the ground. It's a much lower chair and perfect for backpack camping or anything where you're gonna use your chair within the tent. You know, with these big tunnel tents now, you can actually have quite a lot of living space. And this is a great option to put in that little living space. Because it's so low down to the ground, you don't, uh, have any issues with head height you're still perfectly able to sit up straight in your tent and even if you're cooking and stuff it's a bit more accessible so if you're in this chair you're obviously low to the ground you've got your stove going you can still reach that without having to bend down or anything it makes it a lot easier and to be honest being able to stretch your legs out as well because you're low to the ground you can have your legs spread low nice and long uh, it's just super comfy really really nice option again nice and light with this one um, coming in at a similar weight a little bit heavier than the um, sunset but not bad at all for what you're getting and again, a really nice pack size, a little bit shorter and stubbier than the um, Chair Zero, um, but a little bit wider because of the way the feet work on this and the, the angles they have to accomplish with the, with the framework to get it to sit on the ground nice and stable. Uh, it is a little bit chunkier in terms of width, but certainly something I wouldn't mind uh, having to deal with for the comfort this chair provides. Being low to the ground is just so convenient. Uh, and like I said, the, the ability to put this inside your tent porch and have a lot of head height still, be low enough to the ground to do what you're cooking is really, really nice. So a really nice option. And like I said, definitely my personal favorite. So that was just a really quick look at the Helinox chair range we keep here at Taunton Leisure. And I really hope that it's helped you guys if you've got any questions or uh, had any thoughts on the chairs that I might be able to have cleared those up for you. Like we said, they're perfect for backpacking and um, camping usage, but they are also great for families as well. With tents getting bigger, it's important to shrink down some of the other items we're carrying so we can fit it all in our car and still have a really nice time. Uh, and Helinox is certainly a good option for that. So if you've got any questions, as always, feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. And we'd be really appreciated if you would like and subscribe. It really helps us out and uh, allows us to make more content for you in the future. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your week.